Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're not new. And yes, go ahead and subscribe. This is all about handbags and accessories and where I can find the best deals for Coach or Dooney. I will share those on my community post. If any of that sounds good, then subscribe. And let me just welcome you to the Babe Cave. <laughs> And today is all about luxury bags I have found for the quality on a budget. So if that sounds good to you, then uh, keep watching. Before we get started, I wanted to show you the bag of the last couple of days. I have been in my Go Forth Goods Mini Avery in Cobalt Blue. Let me turn off the flash so you can see what the blue looks like without the flash on. This is more like the true color of this Cobalt Blue. And this is Bison Leather. It is thick leather. I have so enjoyed this bag very, very much. I'm surprised I haven't ordered another bag from that company. And again, it's Go Forth Goods. And you can see their stamping here. Let me put the light back on. But this is the true color of cobalt blue. If you're ever looking for Go Forth Goods handbags, this is the color. But now I'm going to start showing you my most used and best quality inspired bags that I own. The first one I'm going to show is my Walmart inspired bag of a Pochette Matisse by Louis Vuitton. And I have used this bag so many times. And there might be... I might need to clean it. <laughs> there has been zero issues with this bag and the quality of it. And I will link my bag down below because there are multiple sellers on walmart.com. And so I want you to get the seller that I used on this bag because I have had zero issues with anything on it. I have worn it. I don't know how many times I need to keep track of that <laughs> has everything that you'd want for I want to say I paid around $40 for this bag and I have zero complaints of the quality good zipper good you know good mechanism in the front the strap you know is a decent strap it has kind of a cheap brown fabric interior but I still there's no issues with any kind of wear or tear on this bag and I this is one of my favorite and most used dupes or inspired that has no logos <laughs> bag that I own I'm trying to look for any wear or tear I don't see any but this uh you won't regret it if you don't want to spend Louis Vuitton money. This, I suggest this dupe. And they don't even make a pochette Matisse in Damier Abine. They really should. I think people would, would buy them. But then again, you know, you can buy this dupe for under $50, I'm sure, uh, on Walmart.com. And like I said, I'll link this one down below because you you will love it if you like that, this style. I mean, it's easy to grab this out of the car, the top handle, the cross body strap. It's not too wide where it, this lays against your body perfectly. I can't say enough about this one. And it's in that Damier Abine print. Of course, no logos. Just inspired. And the gold is... It's not super yellow gold. I hate the ones that are really yellow gold. And, you know, detachable straps, of course, that you can change out. 
Yep, no complaints. Worn this a lot. The quality is there. I will link it below. So that's my first one. This next one, <laughs> uh, I found this on Amazon and it must have sold out really quick and I will try to link it if I find it again, but every time I look for it, for you all, it is gone. Uh, it is a very, very good dupe inspired because those are not G's. Uh, it's of the Gucci horse bit. That looks like the Gucci horse bit bag, but the Gucci bag is like $2,700. This maybe was like $40, and it's PU leather. I thought this would be a weird mechanism to get in and out of. So how you get in and out of this bag, you just, you either pull this tab up, or... I just can grab it from this side and pull up. And here is what the inside looks like. The This is some kind of soft, velvety fabric uh, that they used, which is kind of cheap looking, but it's on the inside. I've had zero problems with it. There's the front part with a slit pocket, and then there's even a back pocket. And... It is adjustable, and you just unsnap right here to make it shorter or longer, and it has two options there, and then also on this side, you can also adjust by just unsnapping this, and then you can move it up and down based on how long you want it. It's such a versatile bag. It's made as a shoulder bag so there's either the long shoulder or the short shoulder and I don't think there's any brand name but this is the bottom how it looks I have used it a lot not seeing any kind of wear on the glazing the hardware is almost like a brushed gold hardware and it's it's gorgeous. If people didn't know <laughs> the Gucci, if this were up close, you can tell that is not a G. But from far away, people have no idea. So I have enjoyed this, this canvas material. This is PU leather right here. There's no back pocket. That would have made it even better. <laughs> but this is definitely one that I have used a lot. And I've had zero issues with on it. And like I said, there's no, there's no name. It was on Amazon. I'll try to link it down below if it's there. It comes and goes. But man, it's the perfect size for everyday essentials. I've used it a lot. The quality is there. You know, the gold is not... Or the... You know, the antique look of it is really pretty. <laughs> Let me show you the details again. But yeah, this is my second one that I would recommend as a dupe inspired because I have used it to death. <laughs> so let's move on to the last one. This last one is a dupe for the Paulin. And I'll write the name of what Paulin's bag is called, but... This came from Timu, and I'm not sure that it's on there anymore, but this is real leather that they used. I use this over and over again. It has silver hardware. The Here's the opening. It has a black hole, but there's the strap. I like, I like the strap to bring it with me, but I, may, I mostly use top handle because it is just so cute. There is literally perfect stitching. I've used it a lot. No issues. This is a magnetic, you know, snap closure. It works just fine. There's a tiny slip pocket in here if you wanted to use it, but I don't ever use that. And if I can find this for you, this is such a great dupe. 
for the pull-in bag. And this was leather. Like I said, it's not PU leather. It smells really good. The top handle, it looks good still. I just, of course, dressed it up and left this on. I think I got this from Timu as well. And this was a brooch that broke. And my husband made it into... <laughs> We made it into a bag charm. So yeah, I know it's not Chanel, I get that. But this is amazing quality. I probably paid maybe $30, $40 for it. You get the look for, on a budget for less. And it's similar shape to the pull-in bag. It's no brand name anywhere. As you can see, I'll even lift this up. The stitching is wonderful. The pebbling on the leather, this is some soft leather they used. <laughs> so, I am so glad that I didn't wait on this one because this one also came in and out of stock. And I will try to link it if I can find it. I'm not sure that I can find it, but I will try for you all. Because it is such good quality. The leather is amazing. It still smells good. <laughs> And it is not too big and not too small, in my opinion. It'll fit all your daily essentials. And, yeah. So, recap. Walmart. <clears throat> put that back here. Walmart dupe of the Pochette Matisse Louis Vuitton. And this is pull-in again. And then this one is the horse bit Gucci dupe. I'll put the name up here of what this is supposed to look like. If y'all haven't <laughs> got the money to spend on these brand names, find the dupe or inspired bag. Because some of them are really, really great quality. Like these three, I would recommend to anyone looking for this type of style or a, a look-alike of the real thing. You know, sometimes I buy these bags because I want to try out a bag bef of a dupe or inspired bag before I, you know, bite the bullet and pay thousands of dollars. But for these right here, I don't want to pay the thousands of dollars. <laughs> not in this economy. These dupes does not make me want the original because this one's leather. This one's from Walmart and... They don't even make this print. And this one I'm not going to spend <laughs> over $2,000 on because of the quality of this this coated cotton canvas is good. Nothing. I've had no issues with the snaps. Yeah, perfect. Most used, best quality dupes or inspired bags that I own. I own several more in my collection. But these are my most used ones and the ones that I would recommend to anyone. For the quality, for the price, these are it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. And do you have any of these dupes or inspired bags, whatever you want to call them. Those are one and the same. Dupe and inspired is the same thing. Uh, so, yeah, do you have any dupes or inspired bags that you just use constantly? Let me know down below, and, uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel. It's free. If you haven't already, I talk about handbags a lot, accessories. I try to find the best deals or dupes or inspired if I can, and I'll let, I'll review them for you all. So don't forget to hit the bell in case you don't want to miss my videos. I try to pop them up every three days and pop in some shorts in between. Uh, depending on my schedule. So thank you again for watching. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.